What's going on mga kabechin? This is again Kiko Franco and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video guys, uh, ay tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-block ng phone kapag nawala ito sa inyo or ninakaw. Ay, isa sa mga nakakalungkot na mangyari na mawalan tayo ng phone. Not just because of the phone itself, but those uh, memories stored, you know, dun sa phone. Uh, specifically yung mga files like uh, photos, videos, and also especially yung contacts, di ba? So, uh, nakakapanghinayang at saka ano, uh, mahirap, uh, you know, mabawi yung mga information na yun. Kasi yun yung pinakamahalaga. Kasi yung phone, mapapalitan yan eh. Pero hindi yung mga, you know, uh, files na nandoon sa phone natin. So, of course, we don't want someone to take advantage of those informations na nandoon sa phone na uh, posibleng nawala or ninakaw sa atin. Okay? So, ganun ka-importante na ma-request natin na ma-block yung IMEI na natin para hindi nila magamit yung phone. At yan yung pag-uusapan natin today. Before we start, kapag naka-subscribe dito sa YouTube channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button below as well as yung bell notification para updated kayo sa mga bagong videos na ilalabas ko dito sa aking YouTube channel. So let's get started. And unang-una guys, ang kailangan nyo lang gawin is mag-open ng browser uh, sa inyong uh, computer, uh, PC or laptop, or even sa phone pwede din. So we prefer to use uh, Google Chrome. So sa Google Chrome guys, uh, type nyo lang yung website um, IMEI IMEI Pro.info Ayan Oh, mali pala yung spelling ko, sorry IMEI Pro.info Ayan, so Ayan, so basically guys, pag tinipe nyo yung website na yun, you should be routed on this page So, as you can see on the top right corner, merong login and register so if you would like to register, that's fine, but it's not necessary. You can still access the website without, you know, the registration process. Okay. So dito guys, sabi, uh, we have to enter our IMEI number. So for you to get your IMEI number, you can uh, get this from the phone itself by dialing the code um, uh, star hash 06 hash. Or sa ating mga Pinoy, ang uh, tawag natin dito is asterisk number sign 06 number sign. Okay. And doon sa phone itself, lalabas yun sa screen. I think it's uh, 15 digit uh, long numbers. Okay? So, kuhanan nyo lang siya and then i-paste nyo dito. Yan ay kung nasa inyo pa yung phone. Pero if it was lost or stolen, uh, the second uh, thing that you can do is you can search for the box of the phone when you purchase it. So, nasa likod ng, ano, nung, uh, nung box na yun yung IMEI number. So, it's either doon sa phone itself or doon sa box. Doon mo lang siya makukuha. Okay? So, i-paste mo lang siya dito. So, meron tayong uh, IMEI number na gagamitin. Actually, ito uh, galing to sa, um, sa isa sa mga relative natin na uh, recently nawala ng phone. So, yun, gumawa kami ng paraan para ma-report at may block yung phone para hindi magamit nung nakapulot or nakakuha ng phone niya. So, kukunin ko lang yung IME, uh, IMEI number, guys. Okay? Do you want to know? Check muna natin siya. Hit mo yung check. Alright. And then, click I'm not a robot. Para ano to eh, Para ma-avoid yung uh, uh, spam dun sa website or para ma-prove na ano, legit na person ka talaga na nag-access ng website nila. So, hit check. Ayan. So, lumabas dito guys yung information nung uh, phone that is uh, registered or the, you know assigned to that IMEI number. Now guys, disclaimer lang, this tutorial, uh, ginawa ko to is para makatulong dun sa mga nawalan o nanakawa ng phone. Okay? Huwag niyong gamitin ito para pagtripan yung tropa or uh, pag uh, nag-away yung jowa. <laughs> Ipapablock nila yung phone. Kasi madali lang eh. Kasi uh, as long as alam mo yung IMEI number, you know, 15 digit long, tapos yun, pwede mo siyang gamitin yung dito sa website na to para ma-request, para ma-block yung phone. Huwag naman ganun. Okay? So gamitin natin sa tamang paraan, sa tamang purpose niya. So guys, um, as you can see dito, um, just uh, you know, just to uh, give you some important um, trivia, kapag ka ang Android, uh, kapag ang phone mo is Android, and uh, nag-enter ka ng IMEI, na may mga instances na hindi tatama yung brand, okay? Pero yung yung phone model, talagang uh, sure na sure na yun yung magiging results, okay? So for example, ito, yung phone na nawala niya guys is um, uh, Oppo A9 2020. Pero yung brand na lumalabas dito is Samsung. Okay? Siyempre, sa una, iisipin mo, mali yung phone or in, you know, incorrect information. Okay? Pero hindi. Ganito kasi ang explanation dyan. So basically, um, 
may mga phone manufacturers na may sariling production. Okay? Na, 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 na nagmamanufacture ng sarili lang mga parts. Like motherboard, yung LCD, and all that. So, basically, si Samsung meron nun. Okay? So, ang possibility dito, or there's a high possibility, na yung uh, Samsung board or Samsung motherboard is uh, binili ni Oppo dun sa kay Samsung at ginamit nila itong motherboard as uh, internal parts of the phone. Siyempre, yung external kay Oppo and they branded it as Oppo. Okay? So, since uh, yung board is gawa ni Samsung, lalabas dito yung brand na Samsung. Okay? But it doesn't mean na mali yung information na pinapakita sa inyo. At saka, ang uh, Samsung, wala silang uh, A9 na 2020. Uh, they have Samsung Galaxy A9 uh, 2018. Okay? So, basically, I think it's you know same word lang yung kailangan. You know, may, meron silang compatibility doon sa A9 ng Oppo, kaya nagamit ito. So, yan guys. So, nakita na natin na clean siya. So, uh, kailangan natin i-request na i-block ito. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin, pag nakuha na natin yung results na yan, baba lang kayo. And then, punta lang kayo dito guys. Ayan. So, click nyo lang to. Sabi dito, uh, note that you are able to file a claim regarding missing phone in case your mobile phone device has been lost or stolen. Use our free online IMEI reporting facility. So, click lang natin yan guys. So, by the way, it's worldwide. It's global. Hindi to limited sa Philippines lang. Pwede ito kayo sa ibang bansa. Okay? Now, pag kinlik nyo yan guys, mararout kayo dito. And sabi dito, i-paste daw natin uli yung IMEI number. Alright? So, sana lang, yan, sinave ko. <laughs> Eka lang, kukunin ko lang uli ha. Ayan. So, that's 8600-280-472-85085. Ayan. And then, click I'm not a robot, hit submit. Alright, so dito, tatanungin ka guys ng mga information. Okay, so hindi mo na kailangan baguhin yan. Uh, lagay mo lang dito, special sign. Wala, wala naman akong, wala namang special signs yung phone eh. So, hit lang next. And then dito guys, uh, i-declare mo kung anong pecha na wala yung phone mo or ninakaw. So, eto kasing phone na to, uh, sabi sa akin na wala ito ng 19th ng January. So, gawin natin 19th of January. Tapos, ito na wala to, lalagay mo yung exact place ha. So, sa San Miguel, Bulacan. Ayan. San Miguel, Bulacan. Ayan. Yan, Philippines, di ba? So yan, na-route niya, na makikita sa map yung ano, yung yung location. Ayun. So pag okay na yan, lalagay mo dito kung ano yung mobile operator mo. So yun yung network provider mo. Is it Globe, Smart, Talk and Text or Sun, Cell Sun Cellular? So since uh, she's using Smart Talk uh, or Talk and Text that time, lagay lang natin yan. So uh, i-describe mo dito guys kung paano nangyari, kung paano nawala. Lagay mo lang kasi daw ano, uh, uh, it was lost uh while uh, traveling. Ayan. Ayan, suppose. Ayan, ganyan lang. It was lost while traveling kasi nasa biyahe daw sila noon. Alright, so pag okay na yan, alang. Lagi natin, lost. Ayan, mamimili ka pala dito. It was lost and then hit next. Ayan, pag hinit yung next, dito, contact name. Lagi natin yung name niya. Ayan. O, lagay nyo yung name nyo, okay? Kung kayo yung, ano, kayo yung may-ari ng phone. And then, click mo lang dito yung, syempre, yung country, which is gonna be Philippines, right? And then, dito, specify reward. Kung magpapa-reward ka ba, syempre, hindi. No. Okay? Pwede rin kung gusto mo, yes. ba diba? Walang problema. Uh, but, uh, we have, uh, sa akin, uh, I decided to choose no instead. Okay? Then, hit next. Then, dito na tayo sa last part. Um, maglagay tayo daw tayo ng email address, okay? So, email address, kasi magsasend to ng code sa atin, eh. So, lalagay ako ng email address. Ayan. And then, confirm email. So, pag kinonfirm nyo yan, guys, magsasend yan ng code dun sa email na ni-register nyo. So, you have to go to your email. Ayan. So, I'm using Gmail. So, click ko lang yung, or puntahan ko lang yung email na ni-register ko. Ayan, as you can see guys, so, nag-email siya agad. Ganun kabilis. IMEIPro.info IMEIPro Blacklist Report Confirmation Code. Ayan. So, ang gagawin nyo lang yan guys, koplahin nyo lang yan, 7057. And then, lagay nyo lang yan dyan. Verify code. Then after that, sabi dito, 
uh, please confirm the following statements. I confirm that all provided information is correct and I'm the owner reported uh, I'm and I'm the owner of reported device. Pangalawa, I agree to place my device to IMEI Pro Blacklist Database. Okay. So, can click mo yan, so all you have to do is to hit complete. Alright? Ayan. Yun guys, na-receive natin yung confirmation. Ganun kabilis. Ang sabi dito, success. Congratulations. Your IMEI Pro uh, report has been successfully received. Once your claim is approved, we will place the IMEI number to the Blacklist Database in one to two business days. So, after you click OK, uh, button, you will uh, be redirected to the main page. So, okay na guys, na-report na natin at uh, i-review lang nila ito for approval in 1 to 2 business days. Wow! Right? ba? So, see? Ganun lang kabilis. Ganun lang kadali magpa-block ng phone. Okay? And I hope na, you know, uh, it, uh, that this video uh, was able to help you today just in case mangyari or nangyari sa inyo na mawalan or manakawan kayo ng phone. So, ayun. Uh, and kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, make sure that you hit the subscribe button below as well as yung bell notification para updated kayo sa mga bagong videos na i-upload ko dito sa aking YouTube channel. This is again Kiko Franco. Mag-ingat po tayong lahat. Peace out.